Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Booth Beverly's NBA 2K16 My Career Series. Last time you saw us, we played our first college game, but now we're going to play in the national championships. Yeah, I did do two games off camera, but nothing really happened, no cutscenes or anything, so we'll get straight into this game. And this is where it's at, folks. The college tournament ends here tonight. For one team, the joy of a lifetime will be Let's achieved. go. Let's get into this. No Let's go. Be some incredible action all along the way. But where's the super agent in the crowd? The crowd are hype. We're hype. Let's go. On defense, Wisconsin. They trail by one. Out to the right wing. Splitter sets That's a, a screen. double screen. Keith passes the splitter. Now, Freak takes the 12 footer and hits. I'll take that 12 footer Freak's any day. He, like, he likes those little mid ranges. What a journey it has been, really, for this whole team to make it to the college championship, especially for Freak. A few bumps in the road for Freak, first year in college, first college championship feeling, game. Uh, it's only the beginning. I mean, the way he plays and the accolades he has, I mean, you can see him having a long and Whoa, long that's one. at the pro level. Here's Hill following the basket by Freak. Gibson the screen. Tries from 10. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. That's a tough shot down there, but I love how he kept his eye on the rim and dropped it in. Wow, Shoot Freak. for three, maybe. Getcha! Freak's got seven. You know, the defense has got Not shooting for two. We're going to shoot for three, man. Greg, you mentioned UConn moments ago on their defensive drive. Some great Oh, he subbed off Freak. And, the first half and they're down at the first half. Got a close game going on here. It's the Badgers. And welcome back. We're just about ready to get going with the second half of a historical championship game. For those just tuning in, this is Kevin Let's Holland. go with the down at the first Clark half. Are they going to choke? Anthony as we get set to watch how the college basketball season will end. Let's go, let's go, we're out, we're out. We've got to play fast tempo this game. Just this half, anyway. Yes, my boy! You see the cheerleaders go up, and we've got it! I've got your back, though. I've got your back. If a player like Freak can come up huge in this final half of play... A boy like Freak can come up huge in this final half of play. Yeah, we know, we know. You know, one of the big questions on everybody's mind in this game is whether or not Freak will stay on for another year or go pro. I mean, usually a player with his upside would be a lock to be a one and done, but he's giving serious thoughts to stay. We're giving serious thoughts of staying. Well, I want to be with Joseph. If he can come to the NBA with me, we're doing it. Still, with Freak's draft stock rising, this could be his final game as a collegiate player. And for that 1941 title you mentioned, Greg, for the Badgers, it was actually so their still first down by one point. To the college tournament club. How about that? Freak has Freak's gonna have to do base mode. Oh, he's a good three-point shot. But Freak gets the ball. Showing his CG3 skill. And off the left side of the rim, and it's He's showing that he can facilitate in this game. He has six. Hawkins with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Damn He's up the pick. Got a hand on it. 
This game's still very much up in the air. I mean, this is where you start to separate the men from the boys and where heroes are born. And one team where heroes are born. Hoping to force OT. I think right now you lean on your star. Where heroes are born and he's just freak every chance. He's really confident in the post. So I'm out husky. And it's Joseph. They're up by three. And the Huskies going with a whole new group out there. And they've taken them off. Teams changing it up here. They're still up by three. There's one thirty-eight left here in the second half. But that they Peyton took three off for the final minute and a half. No, they've kept him on for the Wolf is dancing. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. I think they really well, got to start hitting more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. It's a five-point game. At the Huskies and home at the Huskies crib, we'll call it. We've got 118 left in the second half. Five point game, 114 left Evans in box. Dishes to Hill. To Hill. The I, I was caught Just sleeping. I was caught, and it's a three a point game. Right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. But what are they going to do? Oh, here's Freak. He's covered by Hawkins. Booth. Oh, it's ripped out. Oh, so the Badgers will take it the other way. It is ripped out. Is he choking? On the fast break. Here's Evans. Evan. And no. it's Freak with the rebound. Oh, Evans he's turned it steal. over. Here's Wade. Huskies with the rebound. This is big. Here we go. Fast break. Freak's got it. Take and he's turned it over again. Still a chance here. But they need to score. I really agree, but it has to happen on every. And they he's got it, and he's got three turnovers. That was massive. You know it. He's stepping right into the spotlight there. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. And they go to the okay, the they, the they're going to give it to Freak for free throws. And he commits the intentional foul. Twenty-four seconds left here in the second half of the game. And if he misses one, yeah, you, you have to do that. So you can't just he doesn't. The game. Exactly. I mean, you gotta stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligate an arm a few of those. And he gets both. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three-point attempt. That's going to force him in, the Badgers into a three-point attempt. 23 seconds left to play here in the second Good half. Good defense there. A full-court press. This is like Delhi and Patrick Bailey. Evans left side from 15 feet away. He's missed. Kaminsky kicks to Hill. Out to the right wing. Here's Decker. Misses Decker. the tray. It's stolen by what? They have a oh my god, these turnovers, man. No what but find, they've won. They've won, the even though he's had the biggest, biggest big spud game, game of the all. Four turnovers. And they've won by one point. Such a special moment for these kids. All the hard work they put in, all the pressure Greg they've been under all tournament long. This is pure elation. Being able to call this They've won now, the national championship. From the, players, the rest of the students watching. I mean, the crowd loves it. 15 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 block. No steals that game. Which is kind of what Freak is on about. He's a freak on defense. Hello? Hey, my, it's me. Hey, Frequency. Uh, I got you on speakerphone. Okay, your sister there? Hey, Mama, I'm right here. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm fine. You bet there too, Mama. Hi, Mama. How you doing? I'm fine. Does she have to be here? Yes. Mr. Pagnotti, the agent I was telling you about, he's in the room too. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Nice to meet you. What a pleasure to finally meet the queen mother, this young, talented man, even if only by telephone. That's sweet. Hang on, Frequency. Here comes your father. Hi. Hey, sorry I'm late. 
Hope everyone's well. How hey, you doing, Mr. Hey, Bob? I'm doing good. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do this. We all know why we're here. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Didn't happen. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche means understand in Italian. Capiche? Capiche. Freaking sister that I have his entire family here. I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time. I work with some of the best. Now, let me rephrase that. I work with the best. And the best always seem to have a great support system around them. A family, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move right now. And when you sign with me, Dom Pagnotti, as your agent, I will make sure you are well taken care of. I will make sure you are protected. With this freaking and vibing, yeah. I love it. Freaking and vibing. This freaking and vibing thing you do when you get hot freak, we're going to make you more money off the court than you will on. We already have endorsements and things like that in mind, so. Cece, I said we because we're going to do this together. We're a team. We're team freak. But freak, you need to be in the league first, right? That's why I'm here. No, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. That's the plan, man. That's right. Plans change, change freak. freak. Listen. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move. This is the right move now. And four years of college is a great plan for basically anybody. But you're not just anybody. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen shoot, dribble, pass, and defend the basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Martha, Mr. Pete, I have seen so many of the greats jump right from high school to the pros. Freak, you've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Do you know how many people would love to be in those Jordans right now? Yeah, Freak, I mean, what if you get hurt? You remember how you came down on your ankle in that game earlier this year? Oh, yeah, but that was nothing. Right, we know it was nothing, but next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but bam! Just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. Maybe not flipping burgers. Maybe you're the manager or assistant manager at some burger joint. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and you're a delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom line is you will be a long, long, long ways away from signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Dom Pagnotti, as your agent. So it's all about the money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. No, it isn't, sir, and no disrespect was meant. But freak, money is freedom, the freedom of choice, the freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning, between being the waiter and being waited on. It's the difference between being the chauffeur or being chauffeured. Now, do you want to be a chauffeur? This here is a contract. This makes me your agent. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, it's not all about the money. Pete, let the man finish. He made his point. He's finished. Aren't you finished? I said my piece, but I know I'm right. You guys should talk. Pete, what if Frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't he take this opportunity now? What if the boy goes pro, gets hurt, and then doesn't have a college degree? Look how hard we work for him to get to where he is. But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's why we work so hard for him. I'm just saying. I mean, if he's ready to do this now as opposed to later, Pete, anything can happen. You're right. Anything could happen. This is his future. This You're is his life. You're not listening to me, Pete. Not just a game. All right, all right, all right. Mom, Pop. Sorry. Look, truth be told, I don't even know what I want to do right now. I understand that. Yeah, but I was talking to my boy Vic the other day. Why? And he, and he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave early, too. You know what? I've, I, no, no, I've kept quiet this whole time, and I also think that Freak should join the league. I think it's a great business decision, and I think that Mr. Pagnotti is absolutely right. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. Now, Freak, I know for a fact that people have been talking about the company you keep, and you need to be careful. It could compromise what we're trying to do here. What are you trying to say? You know, your association with that guy Victor off the court, it could compromise your selection in a draft. As a matter of fact, I know it will. Do you realize the difference in dollars between being drafted first overall and 21st? You're talking tens of millions of dollars. You don't get it, do you? Cece, our first sneaker deal alone, you're talking a difference of a 50 to 100 million dollar difference just by that. Number one, that's what we need. If I were not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted first overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play. This is the move, freak. You've got to listen and to I'm, me. I, I, I 
absolutely hear you, but who are they to tell me who I can't hang with my brother? No, Freak, you need to listen to him. I've been telling you the same exact thing. Mr. Dom, Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted him. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. Baby, he's family. Okay, but that's my boy, and he agrees with y'all. It's not about agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know, but it is his future. So this is so none of your business. You still Excuse me? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Frank, yeah. you yeah. still have a decision to make? Sign with no, me, yes or no? Can I just, can I just interrupt for one sec? Everybody just settle down, please. Now, I appreciate you all taking the time in this heated discussion, but the truth of the matter is, there's only one person in the room that can make this decision. Now, son, you know how I feel. Right. Education is the most important thing in life, but this is your choice. It's not your mother's or your sister's or mine. Mm. It's not your girlfriend's. It's not Mr. Pagnotti's. And it definitely ain't Vicky's. This is your decision, son. So you tell us what you want to do. I need 30 seconds, Freak. Okay. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you walked up to any one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you to graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, say 80 years old, and you will find them graduating. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. We need to strike while the iron is hot. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. I'm not talking first rounder. I'm talking first overall. Listen to me. This is what Mr. I do. I am the best at what I you do. You have had Nobody your 30 seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am sorry. You Mr. just Magnotti, need to understand. Would you please let my wife speak? I apologize. Frequency. Baby, what do you want to do? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Cece go through this contract, front to back. I'm going to think about it, sleep on it, pray on it, and I will call you in the morning. All right. Listen, Mr. P, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone, and I look forward to meeting you both in person. Remember, everybody, this meeting never took place. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche. Okay. All right, Mom, Pop, I'm going to call you guys later. I love you. Love you, I right, love you, too, son. Bye. Good evening, and welcome to the NBA Draft. With the first pick in the NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Carl Anthony Towns from the University of Kentucky. With the second pick in the NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select D'Angelo Russell from the Ohio State University. With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Jalil Okafor from Duke University. With the fourth pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis from Latvia. With the fifth pick in the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select 
Borio Hezonia from Dubrovnik, Croatia. With the sixth pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Willie Cauley Stein from the University of Kentucky. With the seventh pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select Emmanuel Moutier from Dallas, Texas. With the eighth pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Stanley Johnson from the University of Arizona. With the ninth pick in the NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Frank Kaminsky. From With the tenth pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select the 19-year-old point guard from the University of Connecticut. Oh, damn. We're going to Miami Heat. We're starting off at the Miami Heat. We met working at the post office together. Mark uh, was the clerk and I was the carrier. And uh, I asked her out to lunch one time and take her for a bagel around the corner from where we work. A bagel? A bagel, yeah. With cream cheese? Cream cheese. Split down the middle? Split down the middle. Love at first sight. Yeah. I believe that if it's true, it happened to me. Let's do this, young man. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frequency Vibrations. Welcome aboard, young man. Welcome aboard. Wow. Wow. <sighs> this is bananas. Take your time, baby. Thanks, Ma. Okay, so I first want to thank everyone who made this possible. Mom, Dad, I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> I like to thank my lady, Yvette. My dude, Vic. Hey, oh, I got you, man. Hey, all them in the building all day. Yo. All right. yeah, I love you, man. I love yeah. you, man. Hey, he, he, he's like my brother. <laughs> oh, gosh. And also, want to thank my sister, Cece, who was also my manager. <laughs> uh, swish. Love you. I love you more. And my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti himself. You're the man, baby. <laughs> I guess I will take some questions now. Yes, ma'am. How did you get the nickname Freak? A lot of people don't know this, but Freak is short for my very first nickname, Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> yeah, true story. I'd like to introduce our mother so she could tell it. Go ahead, you know, Mama. Tell her, Mama. Yeah, Mama. Come on, Mama. <laughs> okay, no, Mama. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Frequency and Cece are fraternal twins. And so when I was pregnant, one of them kept kicking and jumping around all the time. So my husband, Pete, put headphones on my belly and played reggae music. Hence the name Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> we shortened it to Freak. How did you know who was kicking? A mother knows. A mother always knows. Are you ready for a photo op? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next NBA superstar, Frequency Vibration. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Thank you all for coming. We will be available for one-on-ones in the back. Good job. Well done. Congratulations, well done. sir. Thank you guys for watching episode 5 of Bruce Beverly's NBA 2K16 My Career Series. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new.